Hello. I spent the last about 10 minutes trying to figure out how to raise the camera, but I couldn't do that. So, you're gonna have to see me from an angle like this. I hope that doesn't bother you or anything. But I wanted to talk to you today. And yes, I made this video for you and also to other people who might find this useful or interesting. I just wanted to share it with y'all. Okay, I made this model about reality, objectivity, science, and mathematics, okay? It's a Venn diagram with three circles, and it looks like this. And, of course, with models, you have exceptions, and models you can't trust entirely. But it does help to simplify things, and I'll show you what I mean. A lot of people think that science, okay, is the same circle as reality. In other words, people think that what is real is science. But my question is, is that really how we define science? Because the only thing that we know exists, um, that's assuming if you're not solipsist, is reality. Anything that's real. I mean, even if you're a solipsist. Anything that can be proven to be real exists. And we call that reality. So let's draw a circle. And I'm going to label it reality. Okay. This is reality. Everything inside here is real. Is real. It exists. Everything outside doesn't exist. Simple? Okay. And this is where science is. Let me write that. This circle represents science. Everything in this circle is both real and part of reality. This is one definition of science. Because in reality, humans get to define what constitutes science and what does not. So for example, right here, you could have sociology, the study of society. Some people might consider that a science and incorporate that into the circle, but some people might not. And the thing is, there is no authority that says, this is what science is, and you have to listen to my definition and use it. There is no such authority. And so there's much controversy over what constitutes a science and what does not. And there are even people who believe that certain things in science are not real. Science revolves around studying things that are real, and that's why I included science inside the circle of reality. And for reference, let me draw the circle of math. Mathematics. I'll just label it math. And you can see how it has three sections here. Here, you have the intersection of math and science. And this is where, this is where you're in chemistry class and you're asked, well, if I have 22.4 moles of blah, 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 at whatever temperature, at blah, 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 what is the volume? Okay, maybe I just gave you the book. How many moles do I have? What's the pressure, you know? This is where you have applicable math. Everything inside here is mathematical, deals with numbers, and it is real. Everything here in this section, okay, is real is mathematical, which means it deals with numbers. Again, you can define math in different ways, but I'm sticking to the definition of, you know, a study dealing with numbers. And everything inside here is not science. So, for example, if I have a cherry, and then I have another cherry, I have two cherries. Amazing, right? This isn't science. Some people might say that the fact that if I have one cherry and then I have another, then I have two cherries, is scientific. But I say it's not, because it's just a fact. One plus one equals two. 
Now tell me what science is that? Is this biology? Yeah, sure. Depends on how you define it. But everything here, according to me, goes in this section. And right here, you have an extension of reality. Everything here in math is not real. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's take the popular example, square root of negative 1. What two numbers, what, what same number actually multiplies by itself to give you negative 1? You can't think of anything real. So mathematicians invented something called i. And you would usually write this lowercase cursive i. And it's the square root of negative 1, by definition. But this isn't real. When in the world are you actually going to use a number like this? You don't go to the store and ask for the square root of negative 1 apples. It's not very applicable, you know? And it's a concept that humans invented. And therefore, it goes in here. So I hope this video has cleared up some misconceptions, hit, hit, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, about reality, science, and math. And of course, I don't have a video editor. I mean, I did, but it expired. So you will only see the raw footage, which is good in a sense, because everything I say here is what I have on my mind. And so I would like you to share this video. I would like you to share this idea, okay? Don't, you don't have to share the video, just share this idea with other people. See if there are any flaws with this. Try to improve it. But again, it's just a model, and I tried to simplify things as much as I could. I hope this opened up a new perspective through which you can see reality. And I call this perspective objectivity, okay? Objectivity is how you see reality. Okay, have a nice day.